Good morning everyone, this is the Volkswagen ID4 Pro 2024 with the new motor, 210 kilowatt, 286 horsepower, the new software, new hardware for the software, everything should hopefully work fine today in 130 kilometers an hour test the uh, software didn't work properly the internet went out and the uh, gps next morning it worked again and since then the car worked fine before that it worked fine and weird was on the test that on my phone the gps didn't work also for a few minutes but not like in the car for a long time uh, just for a few minutes Google couldn't on Google Maps couldn't find the GPS location. It's weird <laughs> But this car is 82 kilowatt hour battery 79 kilowatt hours can be used WLTP range 553 kilometers and today we're gonna do a hundred kilo 110 kilometers an hour range test because not everyone is driving 130 like we do here in Germany or more <laughs> and That's good to know. I'm gonna go on a highway drive 110 GPS as long as I can um, and arrive on the other charger on the other side yeah, It's Friday and it's Still foggy here because Passau here has three rivers and then it gets foggy in the morning um, But the fog is gonna we're gonna drive out the fog very fast. It's sunny. It's cold though. It's two degrees this morning and I need the heat this car has a heat pump, but I'm sure after a while when the Sun is shining well, then the heat gets less and less I am on my way! I'm driving 113, you can see it here on the head-up display or here on my cockpit view because that is 110 GPS speed. Uh, most ID Volkswagen, I think every ID Volkswagen I've ever driven so far has three kilometers an hour more showing on the speedometer than they drive in reality. I'm in uh, individual mode my drive mode is in comfort I could f put it into eco but then my heat is also in eco and I don't want that right now I have my heat on 22 and a half degrees and auto um, if it gets warm maybe I put it into eco but if you drive a constant speed I don't think that this has any impact um, this is just when you drive a bit with more power then in eco you're just reduced and again the the uh, Heat or cooling if you use AC is being reduced, but I don't want that right now. I started with a hundred percent I'm already at 94 My consumption is right now high and I already used 6% because the first 10 kilometers of the 14 kilometers that I drove are uphill there was already a tiny construction zone <laughs> a few hundred meters of 80 but that's okay the average speed usually on these drives is a bit higher than 110 because I have to pass cars and when I uh, or trucks and when I pass trucks and there's a car coming from behind I have to speed up a bit I don't want to be in the way and safety and everything
I'm at 75%, it just switched and it's 96 kilometers, that is uh, 384 if I'm correct, full range. We'll see if it stays that way um, and I hope that today is not a special wind and we can get this number up to around 400, that would be nice. My heat is now at 22 degrees and I put it out of auto, it's to the feet and to the window but fan at 2 still heating I guess it's 8 degrees the Sun is nice but it's not too warm um, drive is perfect right now as you can see average speed uh, is 107 average consumption 192 watt hours per kilometer I'm at 50% and I drove, it was 196 kilometers, so 196 and a half I guess, which is uh, then 393 kilometers of range. And look at the, my, my remaining range, which is amazing. At 50% it thinks I can drive 201, so just 400, 4 kilometers more than what I drove with the 50% so far. So that's good calculation. <laughs> you did well, I have to accelerate. Oh, someone coming from behind. My average speed is not that high anyways, so that's good. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm still at the same setting, nothing has changed. I'm comfortable in here, it's not hot and it's not cold. I don't think the heat is taking a lot out of it. Average consumption is 189, it went down. I just turn around and on my way back I'm never getting back to the charger it's 112 kilometers to go I have 181 kilometers of range so that's almost 60 kilometers of margin safety and usually it should be fine last time uh, I think I had headwind or something because the consumption went up on the way back and it's so unusual still we're going um, 190 watt hours per kilometer is my average consumption right now. I'm at 44%. The car thinks I arrive with 18%. I'm guessing it's gonna go up. It's not gonna stay that way because, like I said, consumption usually goes down. And I don't know if the car knows from what I have been driving the last two hours when it does the navigation and arriving with a state of charge or it just thinks it's a highway, you're gonna drive 130. I have no idea. Sometimes they have to drive faster like now because I have to pass someone who's just a tiny bit slower than me and someone coming in the back. And also my average speed is not very high. Usually it should be uh, above 110 when I do those speeds. It's weird. <laughs> this drive, but today not. So how is it to drive the ID4 Pro at 110 kilometers an hour? It was amazing at 130 and 110. It's even quieter, of course. Comfortable. I have the DCC, dynamic chassis control and comfort, and that's nice. I'm really comfortable. I'm si sitting nicely. It's it's all nice. Um, I would love to close the roof here, but I can't. I have a camera attached here with uh, suction cups. So I can't do that. I would love that because the sun is shining in here. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> so uh, uh, another reason why I wouldn't want to have a panoramic roof. Not a fan of this. I don't get it. I, I can't look out there anyways. I have to look here. It's for the passengers and screw them. <laughs> Uh, adaptive cruise control is amazing. I have it in distance one so it doesn't slow down uh, already on a, on, a, on a long distance so I have to do something but at 200 meters away or so I have to go out or even touch the accelerator pedal so it don't slow down. 
and uh, self-steering the travel assist is has always been great and it's even better now so it never warns me hey you're not touching the steering wheel or something it's just perfect I like that it keeps it very nicely what I noticed when it's extreme Sun in front of me so the camera is up here so if it gets extreme Sun I noticed that it's a bit swimming a tiny bit but only then other than that it's doing it perfectly Do you want to log all of your drives, all of your charging sessions? You want to know degradation of the car, the AC to DC ratio? Then Tronity is exactly your thing. With the app or the browser, you have an overview of all of those things. It logs your drives and your charging sessions, which is awesome. Tesla, Ford, Volkswagen and other brands are supported and you also have a 100% tax compliant driver's logbook. So when you need it for work, you can show, hey, this were all of my drives. You can say what is the private drive, what was for your business or for your work and then everything can be calculated with charging and everything that is awesome. My viewers get 25% off if they use the link in the description below or if you use the code battery life when you register with the app. I'm at 25%, 100 kilometers of range. 303 kilometers driven consumption went down but the car still thinks I arrived with 17% and the time is also still spot on I think where is my time 10:24. wasn't it I can't remember what it was before uh, I thought it was more <laughs> I thought it was 10 11 29 not 11 24 or 25 but it calculated, it knew that I'm driving slow, so it didn't calculate with 130 kilometers an hour. It went with what we did for the last almost three hours. Awesome. I arrived with 19% draw uh, average consumption, 184 watt hours per kilometer. 332 kilometers driven, uh, reality it's 334. If you want to know, I have 74 kilometers of range left. So if I take the 334 kilometers driven and then use, say that I used 81%, I get to 412 kilometers of range. Um, at these speeds, you see all the data here, tire size and my average speed and everything, temperature. Um, screen doesn't work again here at Ionity. All the screens worked for a while and now they don't work on the other side too. I don't know what's wrong with the screens, if it's a software thing, if it's a hardware thing with the sun, no idea. They still work, this charger doesn't work but there's also no light on. You can see that above there's a blue light when you're charging and green light when you're not charging and when it's working. Yeah, was a nice drive, was really comfortable. Comfortab comfortable? <laughs> comfortable? Yeah, I said it. Um, Nice weather, it's not too warm, but it's fine today. It should be 25 degrees on Sunday, so in two days, I'm very excited. Gonna test the BMW i5 then. Gonna get lots of range with the warm temperatures. <laughs> I'm gonna charge to 80%, then drive it to work, park it there, because it's gonna get picked up on Monday. Hank is at work, and I'm gonna drive Hank home. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, BatteryLife1, and if you wanna support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's channel membership. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.